Hi friends, it's Miss Heather here, and I have a great book for us, but first let's do our I can statement. I can talk about what grows. Say it with me. I can talk about what grows. Good job, friends. All right, the name of my book is 10 Little Caterpillars. It's by Bill Martin Jr., and it's illustrated by Lois Elhert. I love the pictures that Lois put together for this book. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. You're going to also hear some rhyming words, and we're going to get to hear about other number words that are not just the name of the number, but they tell you where they are in the story. Here's our title page. The first little caterpillar crawled into a bower. This is a wild rose bush. Oh, the second little caterpillar wriggled up a flower. We have a delphinium and a blanket flower. It has the real plant name, but it is, I would have to really practice how to say it. Gallardia is my guess. Foxglove and a snapdragon. Did you know there was a flower called the snapdragon? Pretty cool. The third little caterpillar climbed a cabbage head. And there's a little beetle and a winter squash and a toad. Look at the way she made the cabbage. She did such a good job on the art. The fourth little caterpillar found a melon bed. We heard it. Head. Head. Bed. Those are rhyming words. Oh, there's little ladybugs. Watermelon, muskmelon. The fifth little caterpillar sailed a garden pool. The maple leaf, a poplar leaf, an oak leaf. The sixth little caterpillar was carried off to school. <gasps> he got put in a jar. He's taken to school so they can watch him. There's a little spider. Ooh, these are the eggs. So you've got monarch eggs, milkweed plant, and monarch chrysalis. Do you remember what a chrysalis is? We've talked about it before. It's like a cocoon that's holding the little caterpillar as he's changing. The seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren. Oh no, what do you think's gonna happen to that little guy? Oh, there's a dragonfly, a thistle plant, and a little grasshopper. The eighth little caterpillar was frightened by a hen. He's on the winter squash. The ninth little caterpillar fell into the sea. Oh my goodness. That's, sea, what, that's a big sea bass fish. The tenth little caterpillar scaled an apple tree. We've got the leaves, the apples, and the tree branch. Those are all parts of a tree. And hung there patiently. <gasps> Tiger swallowtail chrysalis. <gasps> and look, there's a cardinal, a little red cardinal. Until, by and by, the tenth little caterpillar got a bee and an apple blossom. So it must be spring now. Same little tree, but look what's happened. It looks like the end of fall where the leaves are changing colors. And he's right there in the little chrysalis. And now it looks like springtime and there's new flowers and new leaves. Let's see what happens. The tenth little caterpillar became a butterfly. Wow. That's cool. I love this book because it also has lots of information in it. The first little caterpillar, number one, see that's that word, those number words I was talking about. These are the special number words. We said first instead of saying one little caterpillar or two little caterpillar. We said first and we said second. We've got a morning cloak. It's a caterpillar. He feeds on tree leaves, nettles, and wild rose leaves. And that's what he looks like as a butterfly in the art form. 
The second little caterpillar, number two, buckeye caterpillar. He feeds on a variety of leaves, including the snapdragon leaves. And that's what he looks like as a butterfly. The third caterpillar, number three, was a cabbage looper. He devours leaves and likes garden crops. And he looks like a moth when he's big. He's a moth when he grows up. The fourth caterpillar was a yellow bear. And he chomps on tree leaves and leaves of garden crops. And he's a Virginian tiger moth. Ooh. Number five, or the fifth caterpillar, is the yellow-necked caterpillar, and he feeds on tree leaves, and he's also a moth, and not a butterfly. <gasps> oh, this is when we know monarch butter caterpillar, and that's what he looks like when he comes out of his chrysalis. He eats only milkweed leaves. That's why we saw the eggs on that milkweed plant, and that's the sixth caterpillar. The seventh caterpillar, or seven, Painted Lady Caterpillar. She feeds on thistle leaves and other plants such as daisies. And her colors are really similar to the monarch, don't you think? Got some white dots, some orangish red colors, some striping. The eighth caterpillar is the woolly bear and he eats on many low growing plants, grasses and weeds. It's the Isabella tiger moth when he comes out of the chrysalis. Ninth caterpillar is the common wood nymph caterpillar. He feeds on grasses in woods, meadows, and fields. And that's what he looks like as a butterfly. And the 10th caterpillar. This is the one we saw at the end of the story. The tiger swallowtail caterpillar. He eats shrubs and broadleaf tree leaves. And that's what he looks like as a butterfly. Wasn't that such a good story? I really liked that one. And we talked about all kinds of different things that grow, didn't we? Leaves, plants, the caterpillars, and they change it into butterflies. Those are all living things that grow. Good job, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.